Okay, so let's learn now all the licks and all the solos that we have here on the lead guitar. I always encourage my students to took music by ear to transcribe solos, to transcribe songs, and um, I will organize these lessons to make it possible for them to, to do that. So let's go on the first part and learn all the licks just trying to use our ears. First solo. at a slower tempo let me just remind you that we are on the A minor tonality and the main scales that I'm using are A minor natural scale and A minor harmonic scale The first lick, it's this one. Once again. One more time. Next phrase. Once again. Uh, once again, slower. Uh, next lick, lick number three. again one two again now uh, lick number four This is a lick uh, before we get into chorus, and it has a very similar one on the next uh, chorus, lick number eight. Once again. Then, on that stop I do. D minor 7 and T will just do these three notes from uh, the D and the E. Uh, then it comes another interlude which is uh, very similar to solo number one at least the beginning. for the second verse. Next lick, lick number five.
Netflix, uh, number six. <laughs> Once again. Uh, now lick number seven, which is the same as lick number three. One, two. And then lick number eight, which is kind of similar to lick number four, before we get into the chorus. But after this part, we'll have a, a difference. We'll go on. Once again, from the beginning, then I will keep uh, developing this leg. Just this last part of the lick. Once again, the old lick. Now the last interlude, which goes then for the final solo. try to play all these parts slowly
sorry, let's ju let me just correct this last part, okay? Let's take a look now at each part separated on the bass line. I will play it with the, the click track at a slower tempo at 85 beats per minute so you can understand and you can play along with me. So let's start with the intro. One, two, three, four. <laughs> It's time to go for the verses. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Let's go for the pre chorus. One, two, three, four. Now it's time to go into the chorus part. <coughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Now let's take it let's take a look at the guitar solo. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, so let's take a look now at the coda and uh, the second guitar solo. One, two, three, four. At 
etc. And this part goes until the end, uh, of course, improvising a little bit. So this is it concerning all the bass parts. So the first sequence we have here on this easy guitar, the harmony, it's A minor, F, E, and E7. You will see me play this uh, chords with this rhythm. Three, four. Etc. This appears on all interludes, on all solos, mostly on all the song. Uh, the interlude just have this sequence. Um, and also the last uh, guitar solo. The other parts, for example, the verse has this sequence two times and then the next sequence that uh, I will present you right next to this one. Uh, the first guitar solo, it has this sequence um, four, five, six, seven, seven times. Then it goes to the third sequence I will show you. Okay, so basically this is the main sequence that you will see me playing on the demo and that appears all through the song. The second sequence, it's D minor, D minor with the bass on the C, which is in fact a D minor 7 on the um, third inversion. G minor 7 with a flat 5, which is half diminished chord. And once again D7 in which I have a different voicing, but you can do the the voicing that we saw in the first sequence. It's no problem. And this sequence goes uh, like this. Three, four... <laughs> then back to the first one. So this sequence, sequence appears uh, on the verses, on the pre chorus, on the chorus uh, and also on the guitar solo. Um, on, on the guitar solo um, there's a small difference that we're gonna see right next to this sequence. Uh, okay, so um, let me play it once again. One, two, three, four. Then back to sequence number one, okay? Now, the third sequence we have here on this song, it's when we are on the solo and also on the pre-chorus, when we go to the uh, F-sharp 7 chord, B7 and E7 chord. And this sequence has the chords D minor, D minor with the bass on the C again, the G minor 7 with the flat 5, then the G, then we have the F sharp 7 chord, then the B7, and then the E7. And this sequence goes like this. Then back to sequence number one. So this sequence appears on the pre chorus and thus on the uh, guitar solo, the first guitar solo. We also have two more chords, which are D minor 7 and once again D7. Uh, and appear when the band stops uh, right after the chorus um, and the rhythm it's like this. Okay. Uh, just to play along with me and you will understand where these chords getting. So good luck, good study.